in these problems we are trying to find the volumes of cones and the formula for the volume of a cone it's really the area of the circle on the bottom well or the top of the cone i guess depending on which way you're holding it um, times the height and then all divided by three so it's one third of the area of the circle times the height so that's the volume of a cone so if you have, like we have right here, the height and the radius, it's pretty simple. We're just going to plug those values in this formula. So let's go ahead and do that. The volume here equals pi times the radius squared. The radius is 8, so we'll put an 8 squared, and times the height, which is 10, and divided by 3. All right, so let's pull out our calculator and figure this out. So we've got pi times, well, 8 squared is 64, times 10, that's our height, and then divided by 3, and we get 670, let's do this to the nearest 100th, 0.21, and this was meters, and since this is volume, this is going to be cubic meters. Boy, that's a big cone. Here we have another problem. And the only thing that's different about this is that it doesn't have a diagram. And um, if it's easy to keep tra easier to keep track, you can just make your own diagram. And I'd recommend doing that. So this one has a diameter of 6 feet. So our diameter here is 6. And the height is 19 feet. All right, so there's our diagram. Again, we're just going to plug these values in. Um, and so our volume is going to be pi times the radius squared. Radius is 6. Oh, whoops, I almost made a mistake. This says diameter of 6. So our radius is 3. Aha. Uh -huh. So pi times the radius of 3 squared times the height and then divided by 3. So we'll pull out our calculator again, calculate this one. So we'll start with pi, and 3 squared is 9, and multiply that by 19, and then divide by 3. And we get 179.07. And this is feet, and this is a volume, so it's cubic feet. So that is how to calculate the volume of a cone.